There you go. Oh yeah. Got nice a one. double going. I got one too. Oh yeah. Beauty. Oh, this is real nice. All right. Hey folks, Ted Takasaki here with Midwest Outdoors, and have we got a day for you? We're in the Snow Bear, Snow Bear from Glacial Lake Snow Bear. We've got my wife here, Charlotte, Camden, and then Adam Renis. Uh, he's the owner of Glacial Lake Snow Bear, and we're in one of the prairie potholes of South Dakota near the Sisseton area, and it's just loaded with lakes and fish and everything else, and uh, trying to go after these pan fish like this. You know, when I, when I get them close, I kind of just, there. Ready to go. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, I had a little help. <laughs> when you got Ted Takasaki Perfect. in the boat, I guess you're going to catch Perfect. fish. Let me show you how to actually put the spikes and wax worms on this jig. And I really pack them on there. What I like to do first is I like to actually uh, T-bone a wax worm. So you got both hanging down, straight down. And then I just start packing the spikes on top of that. And then what you want to do is look for the area where you have the two little dots on that spike or that maggot. And then you want to barely pierce the skin above those two dots. And that way he sits on that hook and he twirls around and attracts a fish in. Watch the spring bobber there and it'll go boom, boom. Sometimes you want to take it away from him. There you go. Man, I mean, he just came right up. There's a bunch of them down there. Another good one. All right. Ooh. I think we're going to get into them today. <laughs> we haven't been here very long. Well, it sure seems kind of slow here. I think, uh, you know, panfish, we should get in a lot of action real quick. Think we should move? Absolutely. <laughs> That's all it took, huh? <laughs> You're gonna ice fish. There's no better way, no better, more comfortable way, no better way to get from spot to spot to spot. I mean, this is like a fish house on tracks, snowmobile tracks, and I mean, you can go anywhere with this. I've, I've been on 14 inches of snow and just glides right over the top, and you're able to get anywhere on this lake and drill your holes and catch fish. See you coming up. He missed it. All right. There's a bunch of them down there. There we go. There you go. Get him out. Now Good you job. Got him. All right. There you go, Kim. <laughs> I'm not throwing him back. <laughs> <laughs> we go fishing in the summer and was like, dang it, I wish I could see the camera where I could just see the fish coming up. But yeah, it's, it's very, very fun. Here we go. But when they come in pods, they're wanting to eat her. Oh yeah, when you got a bunch of them. Look at I don't even have any bait. He's coming to you, um, Yeah, He's right there. Finish I got right, one. Honey. Way to go. It looks good. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy. Beauty. All right. These bluegills like this, they cover your hand. But what's neat is that a lot of these lakes are actually overpopulated and you really have to kind of take some of them out so you can allow the other ones to grow. And uh, that's the reason why they have a limit of 15 per person here in South Dakota. That looks like a good one. Oh my gosh, you're getting big fish. He just came zooming in from the top. He's like, keeper. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> Man, I mean, he just came right up. I got one. I got one. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Charlotte. Oh, that's a, that's a big one. Look. Nice one. Look at that. <laughs> he was a feisty thing. I know. Look at him. Yeah. Pretty. Wow. When you're fishing some of these South Dakota pothole lakes, I mean, we're looking for anything on the bottom that's different from the other areas. In other words, if you've got a little bit of a rise, a little bit of a... Uh, a hump. It could be just one single solitary weed kind of sticking up and those fish are coming right out of that weed right there. That's the weed and they're coming right out after her jig. There we go. Boy, they're coming in good when they come in. That's what a snowbird is all about. Roam around till you find fish, right? Exactly. If you sit on a spot and you're not getting as many bites, you just got to keep moving. That's what makes this snow bear so nice that we can keep on moving and still 
be comfortable. You don't have to go outside and drill your holes. So you just drill them right there and drop it down and catch fish just like that one while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> you got one? Good job. All right. Way to go. Camden. I'm gonna throw it back. Ted's gonna get mad, but. No, no, no. <laughs> He's a little, little. Well, we've had an incredible day of fishing here on the potholes of South Dakota and caught tons of really beautiful bluegills. Hope you guys had a great time. Absolutely. I know. I know I did. Had a great time. Stay tuned right here for more Midwest Outdoors. This is Ted Takasaki. And Camden. And Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs>